Manic reaction is one of the most important and significant carbon-carbon bond forming approach in organic synthesis. An amino alkylation of an acidic proton placed next to a carbonyl functional group by formaldehyde, a primary or secondary amine or ammonia, in which its product is actually a beta amino carbonyl compound. This reaction was named after German chemist Karl Manick, who discovered such reaction and disclosed it in 1912. The Manick reaction is a useful method for the preparation of beta amino carbonyl compounds of biological interest starting from aldehyde, amine, and carbonyl compounds. Manic reaction. In order to form this beta amino ketone, also known as a manic base, we need three components. First is formaldehyde or aldehyde. Second is your primary or secondary amine. And third is your enolizable carbonyls in the presence of an acid. So now let's understand the mechanism. Here we have an aldehyde. When we have acidic medium, this oxygen is gonna be protonated because it has that electron density, right? So it's gonna abstract that proton, and now you're gonna generate a protonated carbonyl. Now this is a good electrophile. So we have this amine, it's gonna come in, so you're gonna get that nucleophilic attack on this carbon, and that electron density is now gonna be pushed towards that oxygen, making it a neutral hydroxyl. After that, you're gonna get a proton transfer. So that oxygen is gonna get that hydrogen and now your amine is going to be neutral now you generated a good leaving group which is water here so that lone pair from nitrogen is going to come down and it's going to release that water now you generate aminium ion and this is where stuff gets interesting we also had that enolizable carbonyl right it's going to do the same thing it's going to get protonated now instead of having that nucleophilic attack here you're going to get that water so water is going to come down, abstract that hydrogen, and now you're going to form this eno. So tautomerization happens. So people might be asking, how come there is no nucleophilic attack by amine on this enolizable carbonyl, and it's here? Because you remember, aldehydes are more reactive than your ketones, right? So that is the reason this step is going to happen first. So once that's done, your enol is going to now act as a nucleophile and we all know that in order to activate the enol that electron density has to come down and the pi bond attack is going to happen on this aminium ion and that electron density is now going to be pushed towards that nitrogen so you form this compound right here now the last step is going to be deprotonation so that h is going to be picked up by water and you're going to generate this beta amino ketone and that's all for a manic reaction.